Hello everyone, this is George Ogorodnik with Zentech Consultants and today we're going to talk about a BrickSCAD modeling tool that can help you combine um, 3D solid models in uh, some sort of meaningful way. So the tool that we're going to talk about is this one right here, the uh, Boolean tool as it's called. And we're going to talk about the different uh, options available here and how you can use it to combine uh, different solid objects. So right now I'm going to make a sketch, two profile sketches with uh, two uh, polylines and I'm going to go ahead and extrude them as a single operation. So these are two distinct solid bodies extruded to the same height with two different profiles. And as you can see, I can select them separately and I can move them independently from one another. So what if these two objects were a small component of a larger um, assembly or a larger singular part? What if I wanted to build a bridge between these two at some point? And I wanted the, uh, the position, the relative position of these two to be fixed. So I can go ahead and I can union them together. So let's do that. So now these two are treated as a single solid body. So what if I actually want to combine them together into a single, uh, a single solid object? Because these are treated like a single solid object, but they're to our, uh, to our eyes, they are not a single solid object. There's air in between them. So let's separate them. So now they're back to being separated. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach this object on top of this one. So I'm going to move and snap corner to corner right here. See if I can do this. Looks like it won't let me do it in one operation. I'm going to have to try to do it in a second one. And there we go. So we just connected these two blocks corner to corner. Let's union them together. And notice what happens, the seams, the edges at the seams of these two are now gone because this, the surface that was joining them is now no longer there. These, this is now a single solid body. So we can easily sculpt these objects by combining them together. Um, say if you're working on a complex piece and somebody else is designing a separate part of that piece, you can import their file into yours and combine them together with the union command. What I can also do is I can move another object inside of this one. So now if I move this object to intersect with this one, you can see there is now parts of this object that are also part of this object. And I can union them together and now they're treated as a single object. There's still these edges, but there's no longer space in between these two that belongs to this object. It's all unified space in between them. So let's talk about the different uh, Boolean objects that we have here. We also have subtract and intersect. So say I want to cut out part of this uh, component. So here I have a cylinder and I'm going to reposition this cylinder so that it intersects with this top piece. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to snap the midpoint of this cylinder with the corner of that face. And you can see there's a graphics glitch right here, which is showing you that there's double solid geometry there. So let's go ahead and use subtract. So what subtract does is it removes one object's contents from another. So we pick this one, then we pick this one, and now we have a cylindrical hole cut out from part of this object. So the cylinder is now gone it serves as negative space, which is used to remove material from this piece. And another, the final um, 
Boolean operation that we have is intersect. And this can be used to only keep the part of the two objects that includes space from both of them. So here is a first cylinder. And here is a second cylinder that I'm going to draw directly through the first. So as you can see, these are still separate bodies, even though they're inside one another. So I'm going to intersect, Boolean intersect them. And you see what's left is this part of the cylinder that only contained intersections of both cylinders. And you can always go ahead and slice and separate parts from these objects and then delete the parts that you don't need. But this method of modeling is really easy to do in BrickSCAD with direct modeling, especially because anything that you create is by default created as a separate body. Then you can just intersect them together or align them together with the move command and then perform some sort of Boolean operation. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed our webinar and I hope you'll visit our website at zentechconsultants.net to check out trainings that we have on BrickSCAD. Have a nice day.